Hi, I'm Daz. Um, many times I've been asked to have a look inside this amplifier. I did a video a few years ago, but uh, I never revealed the inside, so perhaps in this video I shall. I've now got a cover for this, but obviously it's to be fitted only when it's not on. It's just to protect the valves. Yes, there are a little bit more of a close-up. I've got the lighting quite low so this will probably come out a little bit grainy. Notice the display has gone a little bit strange here. I'm not quite sure what's happened but not the same speakers but should still be working. Soft clipping. So here's inside the unit. You can see the mains transformer lives in this uh, little hole here that's created by the uh, box on the top. It's a mains filter and a main switch. The circuit board here contains the capacitors. <coughs> the output transformers are on two boards here. This is the driver for the Magic Eye. And there's a rectifier and there's a tag strip here with the rest of the components. Now what I did was um, obviously these components were originally on a PCB but I decided to take the components off and reuse some new ones and build it with chassis sockets which you can see here. So yeah notice there's a couple of resistors on the output just in case I forget to connect the speakers 220 ohms just to protect the transformers. Now these transformers are interesting they're sort of C-core. <coughs> so here's a close-up of the Magic Eye and its driver. You see there's a preset there, a diode rectifier. And a close-up of the transformers again. They seem to be a, a slightly different design. These, I think they're called C-core. I might be wrong, um, but that's what I seem to remember. So a little bit more of a close-up, just a, a dual gang pot. <coughs> close-up of the... Uh, power supply section. You can see the uh, smoothing capacitors on this board and there's a dropper resistor for hum rejection. There's three capacitors on here. Um, I'm not sure at the moment whether there's a, any CAFO bypass capacitors. I can't see any but I'll have a look at the circuit diagram next. Here's a shot of the MP3 player. There's a power supply module which I must have got from somewhere. Fusing. This one hasn't got a mains filter. Aerial socket for the uh, FM and uh, the Fono sockets. And there's a 3.5 jack here as well. And that's the uh, module. If I can just tip it forward without an accident. There we go. So that's the module. So there isn't a lot in here. A lot of. Uh, empty space I guess. Here's the circuit diagram that uh, I use to uh, make my amplifier. This is the original circuit diagram that came out from inside the tape recorder. It was an EL3555 um, and all the rubber parts were absolutely melted so that's why I used this to uh, make up the uh, amplifier. As you can see it's a solid state and valve so it's sort of a hybrid. I used the same power supply but in this case there was a resistors which dropped 
um, some of the HT to produce a low voltage supply for the transistors in the negative rail, a bit unusual. And I must admit, in the original tape recorder, these were all burnt out, so something must have gone wrong at some stage. But it's an ECL82, of course, so you've got a, a triode and a pentode. Notice there's two taps on the transformer. One was for headphones, I guess, um, which I'm not using. I don't think. <laughs> I may have used them, and I've just put a volume pot via a coupling capacitor. And that's basically... Uh, what I used to make this amp, so it was it was made out of this tape recorder, but I certainly, if you've got a working tape recorder, it, it would seem a shame to strip it just to make an amplifier. That's my thoughts on it, but uh, I'll leave it up to um, other people's uh, thoughts. I've noted there's some notes on the back here of some of the colours of the wires, but I don't think that will be particularly relevant to anyone else. Talking of valves, I'm just going to show you something. This is my... Uh, new tattoo good isn't it <laughs> quite pleased with it so thanks to my tattooist Ollie for doing that it's very very detailed see what va see if you can guess what valve it is anyway thanks for watching um, and I hope that uh, answers what's inside this amplifier just for those who have asked in the past um, it's about time I uh, got on with some other projects. I have such a backlog of things. So there's so many tape recorders and other items to look at and I just don't have so much time these days but hopefully I'll be looking at something very new very soon. Thanks very much for watching and I'll see you soon.